anyone out? Yeah. Um, let me have a word with you, Peter, because um, you actually work on the BBC show Strictly Come Dancing, don't you? I actually do work on Strictly. I had, the, I had the pleasure of doing Brendan and Sophie. Did you? Both at the same time? <laughs> Separately. How do these guys compare to the professionals? Well, they're sort of nicer. <laughs> Come on, who's been the biggest diva on Strictly Come Dancing? We won't tell anyone, will we? Me. Okay, I can believe that. Um, now, the men were all very sort of erect and sort of stiff-backed. Is, is that sort of stiffness in a man important in the tango? It's quite peacock. It's quite arrogant. Slightly sensual. Ah, sensual and arrogant. Well, that's two of our judges, I'll be happy. You, you also have a teacher of tango class in Crouch End, is that right? I do on Tuesday nights, freedomtango.co.uk. <laughs> freedomtango.co.uk? My business cards are on every table. <laughs> okay, there you go, that's Peter. Um, now let's, let's go to the judges. Um, let's, let's go to Shoba first of all this time. Shoba, tango is meant to sort of tell a story, isn't it? Um, yes, did, did you, what story did you get from that? I really did get a story at all. I didn't get anything at all. The only thing I really, really, really loved is the leg action, which would be a little bit sharp. Just a little bit sharp. Okay. Well, that's from a pro to a pro, so, you know. Um, let's pass on to uh, Mr Jenkins now, see what, see what he made of that. Did, did you see a story in there? Probably the mind of Michael Dove. <laughs> in a good one. <laughs> because I thought this is a proper dance. This isn't anything modern and improvised. This is, I actually recognise dancing. Okay. Yeah, fair point, well made. Like I said earlier on, this is one of the trickiest dances to master, so I think that these guys have done incredibly well in such a short time to, to get that down. I think also, um, every dance 
from a mathematician's point of view, should be measured on a sort of a fever chart. A fever chart? A graph of the heart, I think. Okay. And I found that was slithery and um, slow and then sharp and staccato. I, I thought it was very good. Oh, you thought it was good? Shuffling around, wasn't there? And, and concentration. It, it put me in mind of an episode of The Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you make of it? Well, I mean, considering the recent Walking Dead, I'm going to get geeky on you now. A lot more happened there, and that's not really saying anything, but I enjoyed it. I, I feel slightly sorry for the men in the audience whose spouses had to witness them being given roses. Yeah. Uh, and also, Ralph. How come she got a rose and I didn't? Like, I'm just saying, I would have liked a rose. Well, there's one there if you want to come and get it. <laughs> Dear Steve! You can definitely have this one. There you go. I'm honoured. <laughs> We're going to find out exactly what uh, you made of it because we're going to ask for your scores now. So, uh, again, let's start with Shoba. Can you give them a mark out of ten, please, the tantalizing tango? Bear in mind, it's a very difficult dance. Bear in mind, it's a very difficult dance. It's a six. A six from Shoba. Okay, it's not bad, it's over halfway. Um, let's go to Mr. Jenkins now. Out of ten. <laughs> Down to 7.05. 7.05, guys. You've got to be happy with that. 7.05. And Stanley? Uh, I started with a mate, deducted one for the shameless plug, and then <laughs> added another one on for the booby roses, so... Eight! Oh! Eight! What a fantastic score! Are you pleased with that, Peter? I'm very proud of my team and delight. I think you've all done incredibly well. Give it up one more time for Tantalizing Tango! Fantastic. Okay, so we've seen two of our groups. Uh, we're now going to have a short break. Uh, we would urge you to go and spend your money at the bar, please, because all the money we're raising tonight is for the, uh, for the school and for our children. Um, when we come back, we're going to have uh, two or three um, items which we're going to auction. And those items are available to be seen outside. So when you buy any drinks, go and have a look. And uh, we'll, we'll auction them. We've got some very exciting prizes. I want to say a quick, uh, a big, big thank you to uh, the table from Tatler's tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have a table from Tatler's and they have donated an iPad Mini, which we're going to be auctioning after the break. So, um, you just think about that. And 